Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Um, if you've seen the last couple we put on the channel, they were uh, of campsites in the Lake District. Um, we did one on Kendall and one on Borodale, just outside Keswick. Um, so this video is more about looking at the places we visited while we were up in the Lake District. Um, and there was a hell of a lot of variety. Uh, we visited Derwent Water, uh, the Borodale campsite sits alongside there. We also went along uh, Honister Pass, uh, some really stunning scenery there, and also visited the Slate Mine. Um, we also were able to meet up with some friends and we had a lovely walk, uh, a very tranquil and quiet, unspoilt walk at Black Beck and up through the woods. Um, and then there was quite a surprise when we got back to the car, something you don't see every day on the roads, so have a look out for that. Um, we also visited the Buddhist Temple for World Peace which is uh, an amazing building in the grounds of Connie's Head Priory, near Ulverston. Uh, that's well worth a watch and a visit. Um, and we also uh, went to see the Boda Stone, which is a huge rock just on its own, which has been a tourist spot since about 1780. So we found a huge amount of variety when we were traveling around the Lake District. It's not just about lakes. Um, there's a hell of a lot more to see. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.
hillsides, straight up a hillside. Yes. Yeah. Like that. to a V and then up up to the to the left is Dow Crag and then the Dow Crag range I think it's brown like but you're looking at it from a, an unusual angle here. You don't often see see them like that. Jacob Lamb Jacob U and then this white one is a Suffolk uh, um, a um, Cheviot Cross with a text or something like that. Jacobs have generally got horns, and, uh, they're generally a horned animal. But the, the hand spinners love them because it's a soft, soft wool to start with, and they can make all the different colours out of it.
Riverdale by intrepid 18th century writers who came to admire the wild and aquatic scenery that inspired the picturesque movement. I mean, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? In the 80s. Pioneers of traditional rock climbing cut their teeth on the crags here. 